Good morning. Thanks for staying with us here on Fox Weather First. I'm Britta Merwin. And I'm Craig Carrera. We appreciate you joining us this morning as we've been watching all that's been going on with the tsunamis and, of course, all that's going on across this country with storms and the heat waves. Yes, we are in the peak of our summer heat. And heat waves and heat domes, they've been plaguing the U.S., scorching temperatures for so many Americans. Uh, people, they tend to overcompensate water consumption mm -hmm. when the heat starts to wear them down. But this could actually lead to an unexpected problem. It's a conversation I've been wanting to have. And Dr. Jen Cottle joins us now, the Associate Professor of Family Physician at Rowan University. Thank you so much, because I think it is so important to have this conversation about hydration. We hear drink water, drink water, drink water. But how do we know when it's just enough? Because we can drink too much, I think, right? Absolutely. I'm really glad that you mentioned this because every year in the news, there are stories about someone who drank too much water, ended up in the hospital or even worse. So we can drink too much water. First thing I would say is this. You need to check with your doctor to see how much water you're allowed to drink because people with certain medical conditions actually shouldn't be drinking a lot of water anyway. So just understand that. But the second thing is, yes, you can over consume water if you drink it too fast or if you drink it too much. So a couple tips that I always use uh, with my patients is um, make sure that you're not forcing yourself to drink very large amounts of water in a short period of time. Also, don't drink so much that you feel uncomfortable. But during this hot weather, making sure you're staying hydrated is an absolute must. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about, Jen, what we should be drinking? Uh, so I have a, a teenager at home, always wanting the newest and best sports drink. He's an athlete. <laughs> exactly. He's a hockey player. And, you know, the new thing is like salt or Gatorade. I don't know what guidance to give him, but he wants something different than water and feels like he needs more than just water to be properly hydrated. So what's the truth here with science? So it really depends on who you are. What I would say is for people who are very active, athletes and things like that, oftentimes electrolyte solutions really are the way to go. And because I don't know your child, it's definitely appropriate to talk to his pediatrician. Um, but for the rest of us who maybe aren't super active or athletic, you know, water tends to be the best. You just need to be thoughtful and careful about it. This is what I would say though. You want to avoid overly sugary drinks and this is for all of us. We don't want to drink overly sugary drinks. A caffeinated drinks, soda, tea, things like that actually can be more dehydrating. Also, stay away from the alcohol during this period of time because that's also dehydrated. It can really make things worse. Question for you. So coffee obviously uses water, but it's caffeine. Is it still working for us, do you think? Well, there's going to be some water in it. And I don't think it's wrong to have your normal cup of coffee during mm. this time during this heat wave, um, but that shouldn't be our sole source of hydration right. really ever, whether we're in a heat wave or not. And let me just also bring us back to the real point here, right? We're talking about hydration, which is appropriate, but the biggest thing is let's try to make sure that we don't get into a dehydration situation in the first mm, place, and that is yeah. staying cool. So really our focus should be on not being out in this heat, which I know you guys have been preaching. Yeah. That's really important. Yeah, being proactive instead of reactive. Yeah. Uh, I think it's I, something that we can lack as Americans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just get ourselves into trouble and, and expect to yeah. have a quick fix to it. So I like that direction there. Yeah. I know that we are almost short on time, but when do we know if we've had too much water? Are there symptoms to look for? Yeah. So too much water. Uh, honestly, so I mentioned there can be water intoxication. Um, you can overconsume water. This is what I would say because the symptoms can range. And, and let me just remind us that overconsuming water, I send at least one patient to the hospital every year. Mm -hmm. What happens is the water actually dilutes the electrolytes in our blood, can cause uh, our sodium to become very low. It can be dangerous, even deadly. Mm -hmm. The point being is, look, if you don't feel well, you need to get checked out. Yeah. The same thing goes for the heat, right? Listen to your body. Um, so the symptoms can range, but rather than listing them, just think, hey, how am I doing? Yeah. If you're not feeling mm -hmm. right, get checked out. Yeah, you're do great. that self-check. Such yeah. an awesome conversation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. We've been trying to get this information out, so really great to hear your insight. Mm -hmm. Dr. Jen, thank you so much for joining yeah, us here on Fox it. Weather.